Differentiation is the word. It's the key to our success. It's essential for our survival. Okay? And uh, that's what delivers results. Differ differentiation is the word. Okay? So our growth through differenti differentiation strategy is not going to change. We believe our customers want us to bring them something different, and we believe they'll reward us for that. And frankly, the management team, the leadership of the organization is understanding that, and we're frankly demanding that, that we build that kind of differentiation into our business and into our products, as you'll hear. Now, I want to take a few minutes and try to paint just a, a picture, a really simple picture of what differentiation looks like. So I know we've got a lot of new people in the crowd, and uh, you've heard me say differentiation now, I don't know, 17 times since I've been up here. It's important that everybody in the company, everybody, can understand this concept, okay? And some of you say, well, it's pretty easy, and I get it, but I just want to make sure that everybody gets it, right? So whether you're in operations, or sales, or finance, no matter where you are in the company, whether you've been here five days, we always have somebody at the GMC who just joined the company, like yesterday, right? Um, and then we've always got somebody who's been here, this is their, you know, I don't know, umpteenth GMC. So, you know, sometimes people say, well, you know, Don, you're, you're repeating yourself. You know, the, you're going on and on about the difference, or you're going on and about this, and, and sometimes people, like, you know, they'll, they'll say, well, I wonder, I wonder if he knows if he's repeating himself. I know that I'm repeating myself. Believe me, I haven't lost it yet, okay? So why would I repeat myself? Well, two reasons. Either one, it's critically important, absolutely critically important. How many times have I said safety is our top priority? And even though most of you know that, and even though that's never going to change, I'm going to say that in my lifetime probably a thousand more times because it's critically important that everyone understands there's no confusion that safety is our top priority. So I repeat myself when something is absolutely critical to our success. I also repeat myself when I feel like we don't, we don't get it yet, okay? Or when, when somebody's not listening. Or when, you know, we're in the second or third meeting and a progress ex is expected and progress hasn't happened, then I feel like it's time to repeat myself, okay? So um, it's also important to repeat myself because we have new faces. Some of you are in different jobs. Some of you were at the GMC before in one capacity thinking about it this way, and now you're in a different capacity. Maybe you were staff and now you're line. Maybe you were business student and now you're area or vice versa. Now we've gone through a reorganization and some of these jobs are new, we created some new positions. So as you enter that new job, what, what does differentiation mean to you now, right? Let's talk about it. A simple one-pager. Now, here's what's interesting. You're gonna see a lot of uh, presentation today. The team only gave me one slide. I thought that was all I could handle. Just one slide, I only had one slide all morning, okay? So let's talk about it. The very first component to create differentiation is people. Pretty simple, right? Probably not surprising to you, people. Okay, um, everybody says they have the best people. Isn't it funny how CEO after CEO, you know, will get up and say, well, we have the best people. Well, what does that mean? What does that look like? Is the best people, are they the safest people? Is it the lowest turnover and the longest tenure? Is it the high, highest employee engagement scores? What makes our people the best people? We're gonna talk about that in detail today. But if we're going to really think about differentiation, the formula starts with best people. And then we add best products. So we're going to talk a lot about products today, right? And, and we're the only, thinking about being different, we're the only waste company that actually talks about products. Everybody else talks about services, service offering, okay? And we use those words too. Okay, um, but the reason that we talk about our business as products is because products are more definitive. To me, you know, services, they tend to be a little more ambiguous, okay? But products are definitive, and as we build differentiation, we think it's important to have a product mindset, okay? 
and to have very, very clear understanding of what customers are buying and why and what it takes to deliver that product. So here's an example. So if, if I want to buy a new pair of athletic shoes, I go to a certain athletic shoe store and I know I can walk in and buy a 13 4E and walk out without trying them on. Because I bought the same brand year after year after year and they always fit my big ugly feet. Okay? Now, because I'm so brand loyal to that product, because I know it's a perfect fit for my needs, now I can just go online and order that same product. And bibbity bobbity boop, two days later it's on my doorstep. Okay, so it's, I know what I'm buying, I know what to expect, and when I get that product to me, I'm not disappointed. Does that make sense? And that's why we're going to continue to talk about products. And again, we're the only waste company that uses that vernacular, but it's important to point it out. So, best people plus best products equals what? Differentiation. That's it.